Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4. And in this episode of our season, as Joey Logano, we're going to be completing race 24 of 36, which is the Bass Pro Shops NRA night race at Bristol Motor Speedway. This, it's going to be an interesting feeling. Racing at this track at night, whenever, not even a month ago, just you know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was at this track for a night race. We are going to use the same car that we use for the day race, which is uh, my favorite paint scheme Joey Logano has in this game, this red, yellow, and, and white fin job, just like all the other ones. And um, in the next episode this weekend, we're going to do the Bojangles Southern 500, which of course, I'm going to use the Kevin Harvick throwback, which is throwback to like, I don't know, starting in 2007, maybe. But Martin Trex Jr., still the points leader, uh, 35 points in front of Denny Hamlin right now, and we moved ourselves up into third place in the last episode, because um, Kyle Busch... He stayed in front of me all race long, and then coming to the start-finish line with a checkered flag waving, he started blowing up. And he crossed the finish line, third place. But the game decided he DNF'd and got and none of those points. But gave it to me. Now we are 12 points in front of Kyle Busch. Oh my goodness. You know what would make NASCAR Heat 5 totally worth buying? If the game was just like completely accurate with most things. Like, you got trophies, the di different trophies for every race that you run. Or there weren't fans for the races that they didn't have fans at, which is most of them, actually. But, you know, they have fans at every track and blah, blah, blah. We recently added the uh, actual 2020 coronavirus schedule, reschedule thing. We're starting 10th in this race. Oh, hell yeah, baby. It's Bristol, baby. I'm not wearing my Bristol baby shirt. There we go. Uh, okay. Make sure my hair is not looking stupid. It always looks stupid. What the hell? Okay. It's Bristol, baby. So yeah, tenth place. Um, Ryan Blaney, Paul Menard, is Keselowski up in here? No, where's Keselowski? Is Keselowski? Oh my God, twenty-first. I mean, all the other drivers on my team are good, but then Keselowski, no. Well, that prevents him from gaining them points on me. I guess Kevin Harvick starting third place, and then you got all your Drogibs Gibbs drivers all up in here, just like always. Can I gain one? Nope, we're still 10th. Ah, beautiful car. Now the sun's going down, racing at sunset. Wow. You know, no matter how big the TV is, how loud the volume is, you just, you can't get what I got out of being at Bristol Motor Speedway, out of a game, or iRacing, or anything. It's just, there's nothing like it. The banking, it looks so much higher at the track than it does here. But, the green flag is out, and we're underway for the Bristol Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race thingy. It's a 500, but it's a half mile track, so it's 250 miles, I guess. And I'm sorry, Paul Lennard, but I mean, I'm up top and I'm trying to get to the inside and you're sliding over the damn place. Now we're three wide. Bowman got by. Can I clear Menard? I'm trying to clear Menard. I cleared Menard. I had to wreck him to do it, but there we go. Now Kurt Busch is wrecking and there's the caution. Well, I get to be on the inside of the next restart. This is just stupid. But I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's Jim A. That's a poor damn terrible 2019 paint scheme. The 2020 paint scheme is so much better. But in the end, it's still not really a good paint job. I like the LGBT queen tell whatever thing that uh, Lefty made the, the rainbow colors. I'm sorry, I don't can't remember the, or the organization of the letters. Oh, we're up to ninth. See, I have a good restart when I'm on the inside. That, that's Bristol. Although they, they kept on going for the outside um, as their first pick here, just ran Blaney out of the way. But I mean, that's I'm Joey Logano. I, let me get to Eric Jones. Try to hold the bottom. I'm trying to slide in front of him. Put him in the wall. There we go. We have freaking side-by-side -side racing three rows, and you got me back here trying to catch him. I don't know if that's going to happen because I've never really been as strong as the AI at this track. I don't really practice or anything. I never really do. So I'm just going to hang in here best that I can. Maybe catch Chase Elliott.
Yeah. Okay, Kurt Busch, I get you. I, I probably deserve that, but I've been trying, but I'm not good enough. It is hard. Of course, that's kind of what I wanted. And seventh place is really all I'm worth. Maybe eighth place if Kurt Busch gets fed up with me enough. You know, I, I send it in there so freaking hard that I get sideways, almost wreck myself. And that's the most that I got. I, I closed the gap a little bit at one point. If you have a fast forward, you might have noticed, but that is the end of the first stage. And I scrape up against the wall because I love scraping walls to, to make up for all the walls that I'm not going to scrape at Darlington. Okay. I actually uploaded a uh, NASCAR Thunder 2003 recently, raced at Darlington, and I only scraped the wall in qualifying. Of course, I'm in cockpit view, so it makes sense. You also check out that Let's Play if you haven't been watching it. Um, I'm really enjoying playing that game. It's very challenging and fun experience driving the cars in there. Uh, no pit stops after the first stage, but I think we're, we're definitely going to be taking pit stops after the second stage. I'm going to go ahead and stay up here and see if I can pass some cars on the restart. Now, I, I don't know if the AI, they just get fuel or, or what, but there's been like this experience playing this game in the other two series where I always wind up being in last and then passing a bunch of cars in the final stage and then if, I, if I'm fast enough being able to win it. But the settings I'm on now with the AI on normal instead of more wear, you know, that's probably not as possible anymore. We got around Chase Elliott. I'm gonna see if I can dive it into Harvick. Just like that. I tried. Car, please don't spin on me. You know, we said that the scene would be gone at Bristol, and it's kind of still there because I still the car wants to slide out from underneath me off the corner. Even though it does that in real life, so I expect that they want me to be careful and whatever. Boyer's just been up here the whole time, I'm just not noticing that. Kyle Bush is gaining back all them points. I mean, he's Kyle Bush, he's gonna do that shit. I'm holding in fifth, trying to gain back on these guys while they're side by side and stuff. I'm trying. Maybe Truex now that the Boyer's gotten past him. Just I line it up right going in. Oh, we got that run off. We're hanging with them. I'm pretty worn tires and we're standing a chance. So that says a lot. That's not what I was planning on. And oh god, we're all wrecked and fucked. That's what I get for trying. That that's what I get for trying. Okay, I was expecting a caution. Well, we're back to seventh again, where we started, so... Okay. They're, they're pit... They're pitting now. They, they're... You know, if I pit the beginning of the third stage, I'd probably get, like, way less results in that case. Because I... Everyone can make it in the end if they do that shit here now, obviously. So, I can't repair the damage, unfortunately, although I'd like to. Um, we'll get four tires and we'll fill up the tank. I, uh, I gained a spot. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's, so weird. it's weird to say that, but you know how it works. I was good on the inside, I was terrible on the outside, so here we are again. I got four seconds of damage, so I'm not going to be as good on restarts, am I? I try up here. I'm not running down into Harvick. I'm not... Okay, there we go. Pulling behind him. Let's get into fifth place again. Okay, let's, let's, he's not going to take it easy on me. Well, I ain't going to take it easy on you either. And I can get Truex. Truex is right here next to me. Get into fourth. It's just an uh, apron or a little too much braking. Cause the car to slide like crazy. I didn't even touch Boyer, 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 Boyer. What the fuck? I didn't even touch him, did I? I didn't, what? I know I touched Truex. I don't know. You look back on that in the video and see if I did. Well, I don't know. Oh yeah, we just took our pit stop. Uh, you can see the damage, it's a little jaded in the back of the car. Maybe the front of it, I don't know. It's a really exciting, exciting couple of spins that we had whenever that wreck happened. Yeah, I try so hard, I want to get one more pass in there, and I try, and then the apron nips me, and I'm hitting the brake so hard, and it just slides out from underneath me, and that's how it always is here. Oh my god, oh my god, do you mind, car? Somehow Truex didn't complete that pass or anything. These guys are getting away. Where are you going? Golly, you do you, I'm on just a regular ass fucking medium setup. Hi, Benedetto. And this damn thing is just sliding all over the fucking place. I... Oh, okay. I touched you ages ago and now you're doing this. Don't take me down pit road. I'm surrounded and I'm hounded. 
There's no way above or around it. I'm just going to keep on racing. We're going to have our exciting, weird, slidey, slidey, goopy Bristol racing, NASCAR 84 style, and uh, do what we got to do. If my car would just go where I want it to go, instead of sliding up and stuff, I'm trying to hit the brakes and slow down so I can get down to the bottom and, and not be on the outside. That is what I do. That's all I've always done. Now, okay, do I suck or what? I'm keeping up with Kirk Bush, and I'm about to pass him. I'm about to make the decision to pass him, that is. Well, I would, but he's holding the inside, so. Mm. Go, go to the outside. Go up there. Or, or not, fine, I'll push you out of the way. Just, I, I'm passing you. you. You know what's happening. McMurray is driving 40 car. He's in 40th place, and he's, I don't know why he's in here. But, um, he could have won Watkins Glen because he's being stupid. Tyler Reddick is in 39. This is dumb. Tyler Reddick, I know Tyler Reddick is so much better than that. We, we have evidence of that this season. Uh-oh, someone's blowing up, and that is Brendan gone, which allows me to get fourth from DiBenedetto. Poor DiBenedetto. Oh, DiBenedetto. I'm sorry that it has to be this way. Probably have a caution for someone running into that guy. You can see he's got a like, big bashed up front end, so he's actually DNFing from that soon. Hopefully he can just pull off. We can maintain this fourth place. Okay, d do I suck or what? We got past Kurt Busch. We got past DiBenedetto. I'm in fourth place. We're are we getting the top five here, Bristol? I have so many laps. I've got 17 to go. Damn. Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! I hate you. Is this really necessary? Lap traffic is so slow, I could be passing people and gaining positions, but this fucking car, I have it on. Less wear, more grip. Where's the whole more grip thing that I'm paying for with this fucking options I've chosen? Back into fourth place where I belong. I'm gonna be passing Truex by now. But no, this damn car's being a dick. Get out of the way, Johnson. You're in 32nd place and you're Jimmy Johnson. Golly, we're just fucking retired. I'm pissed off driving this damn car. Running on the outside, it is. The Cody Ware. Why is Cody Ware passing Jimmy Johnson? Is this what it's come to? Oh, oh, we're getting it. We're getting third from Truex because Jamie McMurray is going into the left. Oh my god, what the, I mean, is, how is he even meeting, meet, meeting, uh, minimum speed? Medium speed, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Larson's 25th, I don't know. Because it's just a giant gaggle of cars. Can I get to Kyle Busch? That, that is a lot of slow cars. That's, ah! Fuck it! Ah, take a dick, Joey Case. This fucking car is pissing me off. I can't. We have to drive this way. This is what the car wants. I'm getting Kyle Busch. Uh, I'm going to win this race. I will win this race. I will win this race. I will win this race. I'm going to win Bristol. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to win this race. I will maintain not wrecking this, and I will win this race. Because otherwise, Kyle Busch gets five playoffs points. <laughs> And I want to get these five points back, if anything, or something, you know? Okay. There we go. Send it in there. Austin Dillon. Get, Austin Ty Dillon. I don't know. You're all both stupid. Get out of the way. Get, mm, ah, who cares? Um, Mike McDowell. I think you're an idiot. And I am leading. I am leading at Bristol. I don't need any more cuts. Let's, let's watch me wheel this car to a victory. Because, holy crap, lap traffic. It shouldn't be this slow, you know, I have it on the, uh, the, the wide pace of the field setting thingy so that the people up front are really fast and the people in the back are really slow. But not this slow, not so slow that they go two laps down in a 65 lap race. And, and that's not even it because it's, it's like 30 laps or whatever for the final stage. We all get together and then in 30 laps they go two laps down. Or at least Jamie McMurray can. Here we come. Off of turn four, Joey Logano wins his fourth win of the season. He wins his, his, the race of, yeah, of the season. And is that Bristol? I am flattered. Holy shit. That is awesome. I love that. That makes me feel joy inside. Okay. 
And I, I won in this car again, just like I won the Daytona 500. This is lovely. I love this. That's why it's lovely. And I'm happy right now. I, I don't know how to talk right anymore. Ow. Oh, and that is the Bristol Trophy. I was telling you, we need all them trophies. And that's one of them. And we got it. Victory Lane here at Bristol is beautiful. You see all them fans over there. And I was sitting right back there in the back stretch, right in the middle. And Wow. And I think this is this is actually where Victory Lane is, the actual location. It looks a lot like this. We saw Chase Elliott get in Victory Lane there. And wow. I'm um I'm sorry, I don't have something stupid right now. But wow. Okay, let's look at the race results. Clint Boyer had the fastest lap. Well, you know it couldn't have been me. Yeah, Kyle was leading up there all the time. And then lap traffic happened. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, he started back there, and then all of a sudden, Benedetto was up here. Uh, uh, mm. Jimmy Johnson. So, yeah, there's us with the win. Kyle Busch, he, he got a stage win. Did he get two stage wins? Uh, only 17 cars finished on the lead lap. Oh, yeah, we're second in the playoff standings now because we have uh, more wins than Martrex Jr. and Kyle Busch. And I already knew Denny Hamlin had five, but I, I forget as far as wins go. But um, we're third place still, nine points in front of Kyle Busch, so he gained three points on us. We've got just two races to keep third place. I know it's really not even that much important because the, the championship's not going to end after two races. It's just the, the regular season championship. And I'm pretty sure Truex is getting it, and we can see another photo of him holding a trophy and then having a flat face because he doesn't give a crap because who would? Uh, Keselowski, fifth. Kevin Harvick, sixth. I'm surprised Kevin Harvick is gone without a win so far this season. But he's up here, sixth place, out of consistency, so he's been very impressive. I think he's going to win at some point. I don't know if it would be at Darlington or Indianapolis. He just did win the Brickyard 400 in real life. Um, well, one of these races. But, as you can see, I'm going to be using the Kevin Harvick 2007 throwback, or at least that's whenever he started using it. We're going to be using that whenever we do the Bojangle Southern 500 Darlington race and throwback weekend. Um, that'll be out tomorrow. Um, if I actually feel like recording it, which I, which I should. And um, I'm, I'm so happy that we're up to four wins. We're with these guys. We're, we're consistent, and we're winning. And um, good God, that car was so freaking difficult and annoying to drive. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.